Hey everyone, it's Mastermind2368. So today I'm going to be showing you how you set up this R4 card. So this is a R4 SDHC Dual Core 2021. And I watched some of the tutorials for ones from other years, but I couldn't quite get them to work. So this is for anyone who's having that same problem. Obviously, you probably already know what you're going to need. You're going to need your card. You're going to need a DS. I have my 2DS with me. I have my DS in the other room. It's charging, but I tried it on there, and it works fine. You're going to need an SD card and an SD card reader. And um, I'm using a 4 gigabyte card that I just had lying around. If you're going to go out and buy one, I'd say buy it 8 to 16, maybe. But, you know, if you have something lying around, it should work fine. just depends how many games you want to put on it. And um, that's about it. You're going to go to the link in the description, the first one, and it's going to be, it's going to take you to here, it's Google Drive that has all these files and whatnot. So you're going to press download all, just give it a minute, it shouldn't take that long. While we're waiting, I should mention, this is going to show you how you can play Game Boy games and NES games on here also. So it's going to be pretty cool. You can play some of those old systems. However, I'm not going to be providing any of the ROMs you need for those. You're going to need to go search those on your own because if YouTube finds me with them, then they can sue me. And I don't want to be sued for helping out that. So just look them up or, um, you know, make official backup copies, which is the only way Nintendo recognizes as being legal to do. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So once you have it downloaded, just go to the folder you downloaded it in and extract it. I have all my R4 stuff in my documents because trying to find the right one, I went through a lot of stuff and I wanted it to just be out of my downloads folder. So I'll just go ahead and go over this. So this is what it should look like for you, something like that. And I'm just going to, I put in my SD card already. I'm going to show you how to format that real quick. So make sure you back all this stuff up because we're about to delete it all. Just go over to the side and you're going to right click and you're going to press format F32, FAT32 sorry, make sure it says 32 kilobytes and just press start. Yeah it's going to delete it all. It's fine. So at this point, you're going to want to put your ROMs in your corresponding folders. Put your legally dump NES ROMs over here. And then, you know, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS. Now, I did watch a video and about other emulators and stuff you can put in. And it seemed really helpful, except his kernel did not work for this card. So I'm going to link that in the description. And you can try to put some of his stuff on your card. But I would say when you copy his files over, you see all these files that say .dat? Don't copy those ones over to your SD card because from a little bit of research I did, and I'm not the person who knows everything on this, but from the research I did, it might break your card, which means it wouldn't work. So just be safe. Don't do it. I tried putting some of his stuff on before, and... It seemed like it worked fine, but this is just, you know, stuff. It's a lot less stuff. He had stuff for a lot of systems, but just go ahead, check that out if you want something to watch. Anyways, just go ahead and on your flash drive, just take all these files, copy them over. You know, you can press Control A, you can just scroll over them. Control C. Copy them all over, and it'll take a minute, but it's all right. Once it all copies over, just make sure you properly eject your SD card. So just go over there, press eject SD card. Otherwise, corruption could happen. Actually, did have corruption happen one time, and you know you make sure you do it every time. Otherwise, you're gonna lose stuff. Obviously, just put your SD card into there. It's kind of hard with one hand. Unless you got in there, just pop it into your DS system. It doesn't really matter, like I said before, which one you got. Like, it should work with pretty much any DS. Although I will say, I don't think you can play 3DS games off this. So you'd have to 
a custom firmware on that if that's what you're looking after. And just go ahead, launch it. And there it is. So let's just, let me show you some of the stuff that's on here. Put your DS ROMs in there, your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES. I have some stuff in all those. I don't think I'm going to show everything, but I'll show a DS game and a Game Boy Advance game. That sounds good. Um, let's do New Super Mario Bros. DS. This was like one of those games I grew up with. And now because uh, the 3DS is backwards compatible, you're not going to really have any trouble with these games at all. You shouldn't have any trouble. It should run like is this, it's native hardware. Honestly, if anything, it looks better than I remember it to run. Probably because my DS screen has fingerprints all over it. And so uh, let's get out of there. So I had to put my phone down for that, and I didn't really you know, want to drop my phone. But to get out, you can press all these buttons, the face buttons, and left and right. It will quickly get you out of those. I don't think it gets you out of the emulator, so. And so to run like a Game Boy game for say, let's say you go in there, then you press, the one that says play Game Boy games, run this. Go over to Game Boy ROMs. Now before you go into there, I'd say um, go to settings by pressing the right button and input settings. Now depending on what you want, I personally always have that be my A button and that be my B button because that's how it feels like on an original Game Boy. Otherwise, for games like Mario, you're gonna have to be holding that button down while pressing that. It's just so uncomfortable. So for A button, you know, you hit A. You, yeah, hold on. Let's go there. Crap, in the wrong place. Yeah, so all you do is just go over there, press A. And press the button you want to be. So I have that be my A button. I have that be my B button. And you just want to get out of here. Unfortunately, I could not figure out how to get the screen to be full screen. There's some weird stuff where if you don't put on a border frame, it acts weird. Let's just try it without and see how it runs. And go to GBA ROMs, Super Mario 3, another game I grew up with. Yeah, that's what happened. That was happening. But actually, no, that's how it was looking before. So obviously, you can see it's you know not full screen, but the audio is pretty good for the simulator. I found for the NES emulator, the audio was a little wonky. But I mean, it's Super Mario 3 Advance. It's, I don't even know. It's Super Mario 4 Advance, I think. But um. That pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I think that's everything you need to know. Um, I don't really make a lot of tutorials like these. I just promised myself if I could figure it out, I'd make one. So sorry for the roughness, but I hope this helps someone. Have a good day.